fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to reduce fullness in hemlines. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got an example of my hemline. So there's my hem that I want to turn up into my garment. Um, I've got a basting stitch which shows you that this is the length that I actually want the garment to be. So I need to make sure that's in and also make sure that I haven't knotted the ends because I'll be pulling that out as I actually do press. Now I want to show you the fullness that is in this hemline. I'll just turn that around and if I put a pin there for you at that seam. So once you match up all your seams you're going to find there's going to be fullness and this is what we need to get rid of. And the reason why we've got this is because the shaping of the actual uh, section to the garment is um, kind of an A-line shape. So therefore we've got the fullness here which goes up into a narrow part of the garment. Hence the reason you have this fullness. I'm now going to show you how to reduce the fullness in the hemline. And you need to use either a basting stitch or a gathering stitch. That can be done by hand or on your sewing machine. I'm going to choose my sewing machine. And it's going to be a centimetre, about three quarters of an inch, all the way around from this edge. I've now stitched uh, my basting stitch using the larger stitch from my sewing machine. And um, you may be able to see here where I've actually pinned it and I've gathered it in comparison to the other side. So this is what we need to achieve on this side. Now to do that, I can let me just turn it round so you can see that there's still fullness there that needs to be gathered in. And as I've achieved it here, i put a pin in. Now, it's, it's, it's the same procedure that you use for the gathering stitch, which is just getting the thread underneath and then pulling it until it fits. Until it fits. So I'll just continue on this side. And then once you've got that fit, and you can see that there's still a little bit of fullness that needs to, take, to be taken away. And you're going to do that by using your iron and a sheet of paper, which I'll show you in a moment. Now I've got a sheet of paper that I'm going to insert between the garment and the opening for the hemline. And the reason I'm doing that is to make sure we don't get a seam impression that show that possibly show on the front of your garment. So make sure that you do that. And it also depends on the um, fabric that you're using. So much more heavyweight fabric, there will be definite lines shown on the right side. Now with your iron, a steam iron by the way, you're going to be just using short little movements from the edge of the hem towards the edge. Just to press out as much fullness as possible and also to shrink the fabric. Now it's easier as I'm sure you are aware if you've got natural fabric to actually steam the fabric and it will help to reduce the fullness. It takes a little bit more effort if it isn't a natural fabric. And there we have. Now that should be ready to be pressed. Oh, by the way, make sure you do remove your basting that you've done for the hemline because you don't want an impression on the opposite side. So if I now turn that over, we should now see we have a beautiful shaped hemline and that's what it looks like when it's on, on the wrong side. Now that I reduced the fullness in my hem and I'm very happy the way it actually is looking and it's also making sure that even though you can see a slight gathering here it will help with the shape of the garment because it actually is a garment that actually stands away from the body because it's A-line or it's a panel that has been like a gore for example. The next thing is to do is to either hand hem, which I'm not going to do now, or you can just sew it by your sewing machine. And this is what it looks like when it's done. So you've got that nice beautiful shape there. Well I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. When you come across sewing projects that do need to have the hemline reduced, this is the best technique to use. If you have any questions or queries, please put them in the box below and I look forward to seeing you next time.